I can hardly believe it, but Lord of the Rings Online is currently having its 17th anniversary uh, festival um, right now in game. And um, like, well, first off, if you've never tried it, um, it's a, you know, <laughs> it's getting to be some of the last chance to try it because Amazon is working on a Lord of the Rings MMO. And if Star Wars Galaxy taught me anything, um, there can be only one. So, but um, it, it's definitely worth checking out if you haven't. Um, you can just download it um, and uh, you can get pretty far in the game without spending any money. So, um, you know, you can definitely like play through the main story and like do some of the, like the lower level zones. It's kind of crazy how much content they give away now, but you know, it, the game's on its last leg. But um, I don't, I don't want to talk too much about um, like the game, like, you know, it's, it's really decent. Um, it's absolutely, uh, <laughs> it's absolutely worthwhile if you're already like, uh, like a Tolkien or Lord of the Rings fan, because, um, you know, I, some of the depiction of um of things in the game are you know um i mean obviously adaptations some stuff is lost in the way but so much care was put into a lot of the areas to really um you know be true to to the book and um i don't know um it's it's had some missteps along the way obviously like it's such a large thing with many moving project uh, parts and there was different you know and different management um like uh, i think um as far as i understand like the the uk um customers were managed by entirely different people than uh, the us customers and they just there was all kinds of like a mess but somehow it still exists like 17 years later um, you know, like it was Standing Stone Games, as far as I could remember, um, that was uh, responsible for the U.S. Uh, side, at least. Um, I, uh, I mean, the servers weren't separated because um, I played both um, on the U.S. server Landrovel and the U.K. server Laurelind because I, um, I just enjoy the atmosphere of roleplay servers more, um, even though I don't participate in roleplay, um, that much my, myself, um, I, I just really, um, enjoy, like, the, the community, and, um, I like attending, um, like, events that are open to the public, because sometimes they're, they're just really great experiences, um, it's, it's, um, I, I've always, really enjoyed like emerging gameplay moments in games because you know like it's it's nice to you know be with a group of friends and like talk on like you know vent or or um team speak or discord or whatever uh you know just uh just kind of uh shoot the shit uh while you're um <laughs> while you're like doing a raid that's always like a lot of fun, but uh, I also um, I also really like the quiet moments where you're you know you're in a game and you're having fun, and um, like it's you know it's just kind of chill like um, and uh, Lord of the Rings Online has a music system where um, there's different uh in-game um instruments and you can uh you can play kind of like midi music on it and uh there's like a like a website where you can like have you know kind of let it play for you and then there's some people that play it themselves uh final fantasy uh 14 um has a similar um music system for their bard class well, not bard what is it called uh, it doesn't matter um you're a um a minstrel in uh, lord of the rings online um and uh, star wars galaxy had a uh had a, a music system too um uh so there were lots of like little uh, like um people kind of playing songs in the the cantinas but um it was more um canned music in, in that game but i mean you know uh, <laughs> music in star wars is called jizz and the, that'll never stop amusing me um 
So, you know, it was like predetermined like just songs that you could play um, in different um, combinations of uh, flourishes. Uh, but anyway, I've, I don't want to start talking about a different game. This is this is about Lord of the Rings today. Um, so um, I I um I like. I like um, going and doing like, you know, raid content, um, uh, especially like if I can do it with friends or like a guild where I've gotten to know everybody and it's like a lot of fun. Um, you know, I, the pageantry, like the showiness, the like scale of like the big epic battles is like a lot of fun. And, um, you know, I, there there was a, like the Deep Hole area, which had kind of like a, like a, big battle uh kind of uh like set piece and, and it looked it looked really good um all things considered that stuff like that is really hard to bring into games uh there's some uh, <laughs> there's some games coming out that um that kind of get the the big battle scope which was just oh it's so enjoyable to be <laughs> just be in a big scrum but uh but like you know um, I also, uh, like, I mean, I, I, I really enjoy that kind of stuff, but I also really like just the, the quiet chill moments. And I, um, just kind of, um, spent a bit of this morning, um, while I was like, I'm re-downloading the game because, um, like, I don't, I don't play it regularly anymore, but I do still like to get back in and do some of like the festival content, um, be because like, it's just, it's just kind of cozy and enjoyable. I really liked the, um, the, like the winter Christmas stuff. Um, there's like a whole separate zone that they add in for that. And it's got like, um, just some cute stuff. You like do a little, uh, you're in a little play and um you like you know, you can like uh deliver presents and like you know swap out rancid pies i think was one of them or you clean up after a party i don't know uh they think there was something with fireworks uh like uh, there you know it's just some fun stuff and you get like just kind of cosmetics you can get like a different um icon around your portrait or you know there was like a horse barding uh, like, um, that you, like, that you could collect different years and there's like, you know, cosm like, um, cosmetic outfits and stuff. And, um, something nice about, um, about Lord of the Rings, um, besides the fact that they do allow like cosmetic armor and I can go around in a, in a dress, but still have like stats underneath, um, like it's kind of nice because, uh, that, that for me, like, um, you know, Having my character look the way that makes sense um, is kind of nice. I know other people don't like cosmetic armor because they kind of prefer the progression of seeing their their characters getting more pieces of armor and looking stronger and stuff over time. And like, yeah, there's absolutely like an argument for both. Mm. But yeah, I I really like cosmetic armor, especially um like. Um, with like an outfit system so I had like several different outfits saved on different characters so I can like switch them into something like you know switch them into a different outfit for fishing and um, I can um, you know like I had a different like crafting uh, like outfits and stuff um, you know like I don't I don't care a lot <laughs> about that like you know I mean like I <laughs> I don't really, you know, like if I'm playing like Doom or something, I'm not, I'm not worried about what the Doomslayer is wearing. I'm, I'm just, I'm just, you know, punching demons till they explode or like whatever. But you know, like so, you know, just uh, different, different times, different, different things, you know. Um, so um, uh, let's see, um. I really liked um I really liked the holidays that they added in a lot. Um like the Halloween was kind of fun. There was like a little like ha haunted hobbit hole that you could go through and um let's see. There was like a treasure hunting event that they added where you like take like these like 
mole rat kind of things. Uh, I don't remember what they were called. And you can dig different treasure piles and you can end up with stuff. I got like a, a goat with like um, bags of coins. And when you ride, like coins fall off the back of it and like a treasure goat. And that was kind of cool. And um, there's just uh, different stuff. And um, there was um, like this summer festival. Oh, this spring festival had like a like a hedge maze you could go through and um there was um there was like this one thing on the shire where there was like um hobbits that had a, a um something about like balancing on a fence <laughs> so you just you like you walk on the fence like for like um some little uh, festival um i'm uh <laughs> oh my gosh um I I understand that there's like a lore reason for it, but my brain can't like compartmentalize very well, like um thinking about the lore reasons that you do it versus like trying to remember just different like um <laughs> different things I've done in the game. So I'm kind of distracted. But um uh, I think it was like um Greenhorn, maybe. Um <laughs> like the tallest hobbit, <laughs> you know, like it's kind of like saying the tallest midget, <laughs> but, um, um, that was like up in the, the Northern, Northern part of the Shire. Um, again, like the game does the geography like really well because, um, like, you know, you read a description in the books, but like, you know, each place is about where it should be and you, um, <laughs> you can like, you can follow the the original journey should you want to you can walk from the shire like and then you know and go through in past weather top and you know stay at the prince and pony uh well no you go to the prince and pony first obviously it's like oh here we're gonna go um <laughs> we're gonna go through the the old forest cross the brandy wine go to go to Bree, stay the Prince and Pony, pass, you know, go to Amonsul and, and go up on Weathertop and then you keep going to Rivendale and you can go to the last homely home and, uh, and cross over the, like, the waterfalls and, you know, like, you can just go, like, you know, through Moria, like, um, it's, uh, it's actually, like, really well done, um, but, um, let's see. Um, the profession system was, uh, is pretty good. Um, something that I never really liked about it <laughs> was that, um, you, you picked, um, a combination of professions. So like, um, with me, I, um, <laughs> I just had to be an alcoholic. Sometimes I think like game professions is part of why I originally became one because I needed to craft all the things like I needed to have one crafter of each type um and it was really annoying whenever there was like specializations because I'm like oh no I need to have one of these specialization too like I need a second blacksmith if I'm going to have you know a weapons <laughs> like an a weapons master um you know that sort of thing so um but yeah like um the cooking system was was like a you know you could have like a yaoman or a um not a scholar and it doesn't matter um it was like really really complex at first like you know you um you would plant um you would plant things um and and like harvest them and then you would go and like, you know, you would like plant some grain and you'd go and turn it into flour. And then you, you would like, you know, um, <laughs> you would combine that with like, with butter and turn it into a pie crust. And then, then you would like grow like some stuff to go into the pie crust and you would combine that. And, you know, um, you know, like, um, it, um, it got re- tooled later to be a little less complicated because it was a inventory management nightmare having so many different um like cooking items um i had a a similar problem in guild wars 2 that like um basically whoever my cook is is like a bricked character because like her inventory is just full of like a couple of of random leftover ingredients from leveling up cooking um that like you know they have some value but not really and you're like oh, i don't know if i'm gonna need this again um 
but uh let's see i um i really liked when um they added in mm. and i apologize because i can't remember his name right now because it's been a while since i've done the quest line but they added in a new hobbit character and they did these like weekly updates where he would you would kind of go around um like following behind him and um go to different areas and um there were like some cool like uh, little rewards like that you could get along the way and it was like a really nice thing that they added in um there was um bilbo's birthday where you would go around and listen to different stories um to uh to get I, rem I think it was a title or something um there was just like a lot of like little small touches you know like um you uh uh let's see and i and uh, something that they had in a lot of the festivals was like horse races where they had these obstacle courses that you would ride around on your mounts and it was kind of timed and uh you know I've seen it since in games, uh, like New World added it and in, in their expansion, um, where you kind of go along, uh, like kind of the road for like a timed like writing quest. But, uh, I don't know. It, it was, uh, it was really interesting in, in, at the time, um, to go through that, um, I don't know. I, I kind of enjoyed it. Um, it was one of those things where you get used to the track, so you know where everything is. So you end up, you know, just, uh, oh yeah. And like, uh, Guild Wars 2 has mountain races, uh, similar to it. Um, but their mounts, you know, have all the extra bells and whistles. They can do all the, you know, you can jump across longer distance with your Raptor or, you know, jump really high with your Springer or something. So it's a little bit different. Like the roller, the roller beetle races are a lot of fun because you can just, you know, get so fast on that thing and like you can drift. Um, but, um, um, sorry, I'm trying to stay on topic. Um, let me see. Um, I, I always really like enjoyed this story. Um, because, uh, you know, you do kind of follow along the book story um, as, like, the main story. But um, I liked how each little, like, town you stopped at along the way um, kind of had its own identity and its own little problems. And I know that that's kind of, like, kind of a trope <laughs> in, um, in MMOs. But it's something I've always enjoyed. Like, the, uh, the idea that, like, when you're just passing through some small little town, like, not everybody's, like, a big adventurer. Not, not everybody knows who you are. Like, people are just there with their own little set of problems, and it really kind of sells the realism. Like, it really kind of sells the world, like, t to me. Um, that, um, you know, <laughs> like, that, um, somebody and, like, you know, just some, like, you know, <laughs> like, um, like, out in the boonies uh, is just not gonna care about <laughs> about the world events even if it's impending doom they're like eh whatever like i've got my own i've got my own real problems to deal with right now you 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 know good luck with that um i've always uh i've always appreciated that kind of attitude it's like yeah yeah uh sauron i don't know about that can you help me find my dog <laughs> you know um something kind of small <laughs> that i um that i really liked in that game uh was um uh, horse paths uh like you know like a lot of games have like flight paths um just the the taxi system like um but uh in a uh, in lord of the rings um you ride a horse on a predetermined track that you can stop at any point um you can't get back on but you can like get off um and uh sometimes it was it was nice to just get on the horse and just like just ride around like just drinking it in like because uh you know like um again the graphics in some areas of the game are 17 years old at this day at this point so you know it doesn't look as good as um like a, some modern games now but um it, it has its own charm and um sometimes like it just some of the areas can be really pretty and um 
and it's just uh it's it's just really enjoyable um if you are if you're um you know some some parts of the game is a bit more enjoyable if you're a book fan um than you know just the movies but i mean like honestly um i still think it's it's a pretty solid experience even if you, you don't care one way or another because you're you know it's it's still an enjoyable game uh you know it it doesn't have the best combat but few mmos do um but it you know it, it's serviceable um so uh so yeah like um oh yeah and and the housing system it's like it has housing <laughs> um you know the areas are are pretty and there's lots of items for it and it's pretty cool that you can make some furniture with some of the crafting professions and that was nice uh, i didn't really like the way that you could decorate houses with like the hook system because there was like a predetermined um piece of furniture that you could put in any particular slot um you know in the house so you couldn't really freeform it the way you can in like a uh, rift or star wars galaxies or like some of the other uh, mmos that have um like a bit more advanced housing but um you know you it, it worked and um and it was like cozy it was it was kind of nice when you were questing in some of the um like you know more doom and dread areas <laughs> to be able to just go back to your 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 cozy little like house that you set up and dump all the stuff in your chest and like have like the music you picked out playing and and you know i i just think stuff like that is a nice touch where you feel like you got your like home base um in in games you know it like um it kind of sells that you have a place in the world um which kind of kind of sells it as a world you know that you're not just this traveling like mercenary um the way that it feels like in some games where it's like you know like you've just got you know, <laughs> you've just got your weapons and whatever's in the bank like um you know and sometimes that's a good feeling and and sometimes it's not but um in uh in lord of the rings i kind of liked it because it felt like i had something i was fighting for i don't know maybe that's that's a bit much but um it, it was always nice to go back to the Shire, or go back to Erin Loon, um, you know, um, to, uh, you know, and then they added some other housing later and the areas look good, but I, I just didn't bother. I like had, um, I had my little, little hobbit hole, well, a big hobbit hole. I had my little hobbit, um, kinship house and I had my little elf house and, um, I would just, it was just nice. Um, I, um, I typically would try to pay enough maintenance that it, well, I, you know, I'm kind of a jerk because it, I was like taking up a house lot, but I like to pay enough maintenance that it would stay, um, I, I you know, it wouldn't uh, get foreclosed on when I didn't play for a while, but you know, it, if it did, it was no big deal. I'd just, uh, just do it again. Um, but, uh, but yeah, um. I, uh, I was just feeling kind of nostalgic. I really liked the little harvest festival too. Um, I like, I liked how like small in scope, uh, a lot of the holidays were, it really kind of had the, the small town village kind of feeling like, um, which was a good contrast to like, you know, again, like the, uh, the world's doomed kind of like areas, you know, like, um, that you get to later in the game it it was it was nice having the contrast um and um and it's just like i don't know it's a it's a cozy game that i i just like to go back to sometimes um i'm definitely gonna miss it when it does eventually shut down um you know i'm gonna i'm gonna go into the new one with an open mind but there was a lot i liked about about lord of the rings online um i am um, Mm. Uh. Okay, take care.